finding the percentage of a quantity. Now, to find the percentage of a quantity, you, uh, you change the percentage into a fraction and multiply it by the quantity. For example, number one, 20% of 6,000 baht. is equal to 20 divided by 100 times 6,000 baht. So 6,000 baht divided by 100 is equal to 60. And then 60 times 20 is equal to 1,200 baht. Number two. 8 and 1 half percent of 40 kilogram. So 8 and 1 half, convert this one into a decimal, it will be 8.5. So divide it by 100 times 40. So 40 divided by uh, 20 is equal to 2, and then 100 divided by 20 is equal to 5. So 8.5 times 2 is equal to uh, 17. And then 17 divided by 5 is equal to 3.4 kilogram. Number three, 20% of 600 is equal to 20 divided by 100 times 600. So 600 divided by 100 is equal to 6. And then six times two is uh, six times twenty is equal to one hundred twenty. Number four. Twenty five percent of seven hundred baht is equal to twenty five divided by one hundred times seven hundred. So 700 divided by 100 is equal to 7. So 7 times 25 is equal to 175 baht. Number 5. 4.75% of 1,000 and 600 baht. So equal to 4.75 divided by 100 times 1,600 baht. So 1,600 divided by 100 is equal to 16 and then 16 times 4.75 is equal to 76 but number 6 1 and 1 half percent of 2 thousand liters. So one in one half, convert this one into 
decimal will become 1.5 divided by 100 times 2,000 liters. So 2,000 divided by 100 is equal to 20. And then 20 times 1.5 is equal to 30 liters. There are 1,100 students in a school. 45% of them are boys. How many boys are there in the school? So the solution is 45% of 1,100 students is equal to 45 divided by 100 times 1,100. And then 1,000 in 100 divided by 100 is equal to 11. 11 times 45 is equal to 495. So therefore, there are 495 boys in the school. Tina earns 26,000 baht a month. She spends 5% of her monthly salary on rent every month. How much does she spend on rent every month? So the solution is 5% of 26,000 baht is equal to 5 divided by 100 times 26,000 baht. So 26,000 uh, baht divided by 100 is equal to 260. Then 260 times 5 is equal to 1,300 baht. Therefore, Tina spend 1,300 baht on rent every month. There are 800 workers in a factory. 65% of the workers are female workers. How many male workers are there in the factory? The solution is 65% of 800 workers is equal to 65 divided by 100 times 800. 800 divided by uh, 100 is equal to 8. And then 8 times 65 is equal to 520. So therefore, there are 520 male workers. in the factory. So therefore, there are 520 female workers in the factory and 280 male workers in the factory. Thank you for watching. God bless.